Hello, you're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS in 3 or less. Today we're in the F-16, learning how to drop the GBU-12 laser-guided bomb. As usual, control bindings are at the end of the video. Let's go! Etagram Master Mode. On the right MFD, set your delivery mode to CCRP. Arm the laser, check Master Arm on. Bring up the targeting pod on the right MFD. Use the waypoint rocker to select your target waypoint. Autopilot is in steering select. Let's get set up for auto lasing. Hit the lift button. Zero for miscellaneous, five for laser. Dobber down to the laser time. Three, zero, enter. Dobber left to exit the page. We're now set to auto laser 30 seconds before impact. Soy the targeting pod with sensor select down. The white outline indicates your sensor of interest. Choose an infrared mode, use the FOV button and the manual range knob to zoom, and the radar cursor to slew until you can find your target. There it is. Our target is that AWACS plane. Target management switch up to get a point track. Civilian airliners are parked alongside. Rules of engagement state not to damage them. As we get close to the target, let's go to full afterburner. Check your autopilot is on altitude hold and attitude hold. Bring the aircraft gently towards the bomb fall line, lining up with the path vector. Shortly after the range bar comes alive on the right side of the HUD, you'll see two release cues approaching the flight path marker from above and below. You'll then see a large circle which will begin to flash. You could ignore all of these cues as they're all to do with lofting attacks and we're not doing that today. Now we can wait for the actual release queue to start descending down the fall line. Press and hold the pickle button. Note that the laser starts automatically. When the release queue meets the flight path marker, you've dropped a bomb. Make a quick turn to the left before starting a right hand orbit. This will keep a clean line of sight for the targeting pod as your bomb falls. Keep an eye on your targeting pod to make sure you keep a good track and that your laser keeps firing. If the letter L stops flashing before your bomb impacts, then press and hold the gun trigger to the first detent to fire the laser manually. It's a good hit. Let's go home. I've been Dan and you've been watching DCS in 3 or less from Got Space Game. Got loads of these 3 minute tutorials covering all of your favourite DCS modules more being added every week, so aim a laser-guided click at that subscribe button.